Get, stop sticking on me. Okay. <laughs> What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I am doing a summer Shein type haul. I picked out quite a few little pieces, not like too many, but I did pick out quite a few things. Um, and I really wanted to focus on more like summery fashion pieces just because it's been really hot. It's like 100 degrees like every day where I'm at. And so I just wanted some like lighter dresses and cute little tops, trendier items, and I found so many cute things for this haul, you guys. So I figured I would just show you guys everything that I ended up getting from Shein this time. So first off is this cute little dress right here. It's just like a little mini dress, and it has this like leopard print going on with all these beautiful hibiscus and like palm leaves on it. It does have kind of like a scrunched ruching on the top area. The straps are adjustable. And I do notice just from first impressions, this is not double lined. So I am hoping that when I try this guy on, it's not see-through, but I just really love the print. I think it's very like sassy, fun, vacation-y, summery. It just looks like such a fun time. So I'm so excited to try this on. And let's give you guys my first impressions once I put this little guy on. All right, guys, I hope you guys can see me. Here is the dress on. I feel like it does, if I'm looking over here, it's because there's a mirror right over here. I do really like the way it fits. I got this one in a size small and it doesn't feel like too constricting, which is really nice, but it does kind of like dip in to accentuate the waist. The cut of it kind of goes out at the hip. So I feel like it makes me look a little bit more curvy than I am naturally. I also really like this ruching on the top. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to fit in it because I am a little bit heavier chested. So a lot of times when dresses are like this, I have problems there, but I feel like it works okay. And I do like that little detail just has the little spaghetti straps and I don't feel like this is see-through I mean I don't know maybe in the Sun might be a better indicator but just looking at it right here I feel like it would be okay I would just wear this with like a really cute little like basket bag would look adorable with this or even this vintage bag right here that I ended up thrifting recently I feel like it's just like such a cute little like girly vibe when looking at it too, I didn't realize that it had a side slit right there. So I just think that that's really cute and just kind of gives it a little bit of like a flair to the dress. All right, you guys, the next one is also a little mini dress. This one is more of like a scarf print material. I did end up trying to buy one of these scarf print looking rompers from Shein a while ago and honestly it was terrible quality so I was a little scared when getting this one but actually I am surprised and this one seems a lot better quality. It's just like a different material. This one is a bit shiny which I feel like works really well with the scarf style. It has all these little like chain details and flowers. This one does have a side zip with the adjustable straps. So let's see how this one looks on. Okay, I put on the scarf print dress. This one is cute too. I like the cut. Like I said, it's not like overly form fitting, which sometimes I'm worried about with Shein because sometimes they run a little small and then some of their stuff is true to size. So it's always hard to know, but I would say that this one is pretty true to size. I love the print. I think that this one is so cute. I will say it has a lot higher of a neckline than I realized. Like it's not revealing at all in this area. So if you do feel like you bend over and you don't want any like cleavage showing, that is really nice. This one's pretty thin as well, but I don't feel like it is at all see-through. Like this one does seem a little bit more, maybe because it's dark in color, it does seem like it would do okay in the sun. I always wear little like booty shorts underneath my small dresses anyways, because I just don't want to risk it. And this one also does have a little bit of a slit on the leg. It seems like this one's a little bit smaller, like I wouldn't have really noticed it, but it does have a slit on the one side. I'm really into the whole scarf print trend right now. I love all of the scarf print shirts or like scarves that you turn into a shirt. I recently found one at the thrift store and I ended up selling it on my Poshmark and Depop and like a little bit of me was sad that I sold it so quickly because it was so beautiful. Um, so I'll try to be looking for more of those at the thrift store. I don't really have that many cons to say about this one honestly. All right and then this is the last little dress. Honestly I have seen this exact same dress 
all over social media lately on like all the different like influencer fashion influencers and i think that they're selling this dress at multiple places but shein is probably the most affordable it's literally the exact same you guys um so it's just this black little dress with these almost like daisy print it's not like perfect flowers but it's obviously a floral print i love the top it has like a very ruffly is that called a sweetheart neckline and then these really cute little tie top shoulders all right let's try it on all right you guys here it is i do really think it's cute for some reason i didn't realize that on the top it actually has like two different straps going on the top i've seen a lot that just have the one little spaghetti strap but this one does have two so it kind of gives it a different effect i would say that this one actually runs a little bit big i'm pretty sure that this is a size small and i feel like it is just like a little bit loose and it kind of has more of like a triangle shape to it. Like it doesn't really like hug the legs back in. It kind of just kind of goes like this, which is okay. It's just not my favorite. I wish it kind of like came back in almost like this first little dress right here. I would just wear this with like a little pair of flip flops or sandals to make it a more casual look or even a little pair of like white sneakers or vans. Honestly, even actually these little shoes that I ended up picking up from Shein. So I'll show you them right now because I feel like I would wear it with this outfit just to make it like a casual girly outfit. So here's the little sandals. They're almost like Birkenstock dupes. And you guys know that I got a pair of Doc Martin dupes off of Shein recently and I love them. So these are the next little pair. They do have a little bit of a rubber grippy sole on the bottom there and then the little gold clasps. I would pair these with this dress and I feel like they're just so cute and kind of make the outfit a little bit more casual than dressed up. I'm sure you will see these little guys on my Instagram the rest of the summer. I got a pair of shorts. Get off of me. Get, stop sticking on me. Okay. <laughs> what is my hair doing right now? It's living its own, it's doing its own, I'm not sure. Okay. Moving on to the only pair of shorts I ended up getting. I wanted these really bad because they're very unique and very different and I really, really wanted them. I feel like I've seen a lot of these like two-tone things happening. I got a shirt that was like half black, half white from my last haul and then I also have seen a lot of like flannels that are like one half one flannel, one half the other. I really like it and think it's a cute trend. Um, so yeah, I picked these up and I also really liked the zipper. It's very interesting. It has like a zipper that goes from the front all the way to the back. Like what? I've never seen something like that. So I bought these off of like pure uniqueness, but I will say I'm a little worried that these are gonna be too big just from looking at them. I got them in a size extra small and they, I don't know, they just seem a little bit big for an extra small. So I would say on these ones, size down if you do end up picking them up. All right, let's try these guys on. All right, you guys, these are actually not as big as just looking at them. I feel like they looked really big, but honestly, where it's looking big is that it seems like it's just bunching a little bit of fabric like right here, which for me is kind of like a somewhere that I don't want to draw attention to because of my belly. So I, I like the style of these, but I feel like it just has kind of like a lot of material right here. Maybe it's because of the zipper. I'm not too sure, but I think that they're cute. Like I'll end up wearing them. I just feel like they could be a little bit more flattering right here. Um, I think that they're cute how they come up a lot on the sides, although... They might show a little bit of booty cheek right here. So I'd probably only wear these maybe to like the lake or the river or something and not actually while out running errands just cause they are a little bit like cheeky and I don't really like that. I don't know. I'm on the fence about these ones, but I'll end up wearing them to the lake and river. I will note too, they're very, very high waisted. Like my belly buttons here, they're probably at least a 12 inch rise. You guys know me, I love my cute little like girly lounge sets from Shein. Like every single one I've ever ordered, I've really liked. So I just got another one and it is just this two piece set. Here's the little top. It's like a spaghetti strap top with this little like black and red floral pattern. Has a little ruffle at the bottom. And then the little shorts are the same print with the same little ruffle at the bottom and a drawstring. They're perfect, I feel like, for wearing around the house if you just want to lounge and be cute. The thing I like about two-piece sets that I've said so many different times is that you can wear them separately as well. So I feel like you get, like, more bang for your buck because I would just wear this with a pair of jeans and I would wear this with just a different top. Oh, Ziggy's joining us. 
Hi, Biggie. Hey, baby, you found me. I would show you guys, but I'd have to take the camera off the tripod. So I'll show you guys Ziggy at the very end when we're done filming. So if you guys hear any grunting, it's my dog. Um, what I was saying is that I would wear this with shorts and I would wear these with like a little play suit or bodysuit underneath. So it's just such a versatile piece. I have high hopes for this. Whoa. <laughs> All right, you guys, as expected, I love this one so much. I just think it's so cute. Like I said, I would just wear this like watching TV when clean in the house, hanging out like on a lazy Sunday afternoon, you know what I mean? But I also feel like I would wear both of these pieces separately. What I really like about the top is that it has almost like an elastic piece right here at the ruffles. So the crop top stays like sucked into my waist, which I prefer. So the ruffle just gives it a little bit extra length. If it didn't have that, that would just be too cropped for me. So I do like that it has a little bit of the ruffle and it's just such a girly little piece. The straps are adjustable, which was nice. I just feel like this piece is very cute, flattering, very girly. I'm really into this. It's really hard for me with Shein because I know that it's fast fashion, which I'm trying to cut down on. Like I talked to you guys in my last thrift video, but I do genuinely like the pieces that I end up getting, which also makes me feel like guilty that I like it. It's almost like fast food. It's like, you know it's bad for you, but you enjoy eating it and you're like, ah, gosh, this Taco Bell is like so good, but it's like so bad. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about Shein. Is it like, ah, I do like it, but like, I know it's bad. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at in 2020, you guys. I know I talked to you guys a little bit about that in my last thrift video and you guys know where I'm at on my community tab and all this, but I like this. I do. I think it's cute. <laughs> okay. Moving on, ooh, in my order, this was the one I was most excited for it to come. So I hope it fits me well because I know that these tops, if they're not comfortable, I don't end up wearing them. But this was the one that I was like, I love this so much. So it's kind of like, almost like a prairie milkmaid, girly little summery top. It has that like, like eyelet lace kind of material. I don't know what they call that. It's not like lace, but it's just like the little embroidered eyelet material on the front it has all those little itty bitty buttons honestly this top to me does not look like Shein at all like I feel like this looks like an expensive top I would probably spend like 45 to 50 dollars on just this top in like a little boutique or like a small little you know like a cute little boutique -y type store I am really really hoping that this one fits me okay and is comfortable because when I ordered it it was my favorite out of my picks Let's put it on. I love this shirt so much. Like I said, I feel like it doesn't look like a Shein cheap little top. I feel like it looks very like small town boutique. If you wanna buy this, you can't find it because I got it in like my vacation and it was at a shop that you're never gonna go to. It's so cute. I don't feel like it looks like it's from Shein. Honestly, I would pair it just how I have now. I have like a little pair of like super wide leg pants. I feel like it gives it just kind of like a very like hippie ethereal kind of look. Milkmaid, prairie. I love it. This one for me is a yes, yes, yes. Okay. And moving on to something that might be a little bit questionable on the other end of the spectrum. I've heard mixed things about workout stuff from Shein or like leggings and like their workout gear. Another girl that does a lot of Shein videos was saying that some of them are like super good quality like Gymshark dupes and then some of them are not great and they're really cheap so you have to look at the material. I forget what she said the material that was great. I'll try to find her video and link it down below if you guys are curious like I'll put it in the description box down below. Her name is Mackenzie and she does a ton of Shein content. If you guys like Shein videos, you guys might wanna go watch her videos cause she's cute and always orders cute things. And yeah, I will link her down below. But she was talking about Gymshark dupes and so I ordered these and these are the material that I feel like you don't want. Like they feel like they're kinda like pajamas or like they're not that like constricting, tightening, like, I don't know, these feel kind of cheap. The reason I got them is because, again, I've been liking the leopard print or cheetah print with the florals. This one has like big red poppies with the leopard print. I like the print, I think it's cute. The material just doesn't seem like high quality, which it's Shein, so, you know. 
you get what you pay for you know what i mean so we'll try these on and we'll see how they go all right you guys sorry i just threw this little bb top on for my last thrift video because i don't have that many other like tops down where i'm at to throw on with this but as expected i don't love these leggings it just feels like you're supposed to sleep in them or like you got them at Walmart or something. They're just like not legging material. They're not like compressing. They're not, I don't know. They're just, I would skip on these. Personally, if it was me, I wouldn't reorder these. I'd get something else for the same money. They are very, very, very high waisted. All right, you guys, and then moving on into the other accessories, I got another pair of shoes and a few swimmer items. The other pair of shoes are these super cute little snakeskin tinnies right here. I got some other snakeskin tinnies from Shein, but they were too small. I ordered the wrong size and I was so sad. So this time I ordered a slightly different style and a bigger size. So these are super cute. I would just wear them with all sorts of just like plain colored dresses, casual outfits. I love the snake print. And I actually really love all of my Shein shoes. Like when I order the right size, I end up really loving them. I think they have cute, affordable shoes. So I'll be adding these to the collection. I did get a cute little bag. I got this little guy. I thought it was like kind of a basic looking bag. You can wear it as a wristlet, but it does come with the longer like crossbody. I like it crossbody better because I don't want to hold my purse the whole time. I feel like it's very like utility looking or like simplistic. It almost looks like it could also double as a fanny pack. Ooh, or you could wear it like this, how the girls do all the fanny packs and like do it really short like that. I think it's so cute and I don't have any purses that can be worn like that. So if you just tighten the strap, you can wear it like that or you can wear it longer or more on your hip like I normally do. But I just think this purse is so cute. Honestly, I think I'm gonna switch over to this purse as soon as I'm done with this video. I've been rocking my Dooney and Burke purse for or a few weeks now and it's time to switch over to something new. So I think I will end up giving this one a go and see if I can cut down all the things into my purse into this little guy. This one is my favorite print of them all. It is just this like black, yellow, and white bikini bottom. These ones are super, super cheeky. For me at least, that is very cheeky. I really like them though. They look like they're high-waisted and sit high on the hips, which I prefer. And then I have hope that this top will fit me because it looks like it has enough material. Almost like a tube top, but it does have the straps. It's super cute. It's my favorite bikini that we have here in the hall. So let's put this guy on. All right, guys, here's the bikini. I literally love it so much. I think it's so cute. It's probably one of my favorite bikinis of the summer now. I just think that the print is really pretty. I like that it is not too small on the top. That doesn't happen very often. So super excited about that. It feels comfortable. I think that it's cute. I will say that this little like twist tie piece for me at least is like a little bit long probably end up just cutting these little pieces off because like why is it so long it's not a full brazilian bikini but it is a little bit more cheeky than i would wear in front of like family members but if you guys are more comfortable wearing these more cheeky bikinis you do you boo next bikini second favorite i've actually already worn this <laughs> it looks like this it's just this like black and blue and white striped bottoms the top of this bikini is what i really liked though just holding it up right here doesn't do it justice it like doesn't really make sense but it has this material here on the front and then it has like two straps around the body uh yeah like i said you can't really tell by me holding it up right here. So let's just put this on so I can show you guys when I'm wearing it. Oh, you guys, I got my makeup on it from when I was wearing it the other day. So don't mind that. It's cause I must have spilled. <laughs> Here's the top, like I said. Here's the like little cutout on the side of this one. And then it has this like lower strap. I like this one again because I feel like it covers me up enough. I don't feel like anything's gonna like fall out when swimming. It's comfortable. The only bad thing I have to say about this one is this bottom strap is actually a little bit too loose on me. I still wore it and made it work. It kind of like falls down on the back. And if it was just maybe like one inch tighter, it would stay up where it's supposed to. It's a little loose right here, but it's okay. Okay, moving on to this little guy, another bikini. 
one is super high waisted, which I absolutely love. And it's just orange with these white and black flowers. I love a high waist bikini. And then the top is kind of like that same one in the beginning. It's almost like a tube top. You can remove the straps to make it a tube top, or you can leave the little spaghetti straps. I'll leave the spaghetti straps if I need that support, um, but you can remove the straps if you want to on this one to make it into a tube top. This one looks like a little smaller of material, so I hope we fit into this guy. <laughs> Let's try. Here's the orange one. I actually really like the orange with my tan. I think this is my only orange bikini that I own, so I like it with the tan. I think it looks nice. Suspicions were right. The top is pretty, not like too little, but it's like on the edge of being too little for me. I do wish it just had a little bit more material here, um, but I feel like I can make it work. Okay, on to the last one. This is really weird because Shein ended up sending me this bikini twice. I don't know if they just accidentally made a mistake and sent me two of the same ones or if I got two and it was my fault or their fault. I'm not really sure. It could have been my fault and I ordered two. <laughs> Who knows? But it is this sage green bikini. I've been loving this sage green color. This one is, again, very high-waisted, similar to the ones I have on now. And then the material is a little bit ribbed. And then the top is super cute and girly. It does have a bit more material, so I'm pretty sure that this one's gonna fit better. You guys, I just got my makeup on this one too, all from my nose when I put it on, so don't mind that. Um, but here is the little top and bottom. I love this one. I feel like it's super comfortable. This is something that I do feel like is family friendly. I wouldn't feel uncomfortable wearing this around, you know, all my family. I like that it's super high waisted. Here is the back with the little like crisscross crochet. I feel like it has a decent amount of coverage on the bottom. Super comfortable, very girly with these little like cute little ruffles on the top and bottom. Big chest friendly. Truly, I don't really have many bad things to say about this one. I'm into it. I think it's really cute. I think it's really pretty. I wish I wouldn't have gotten two and I could have picked out a different bikini instead of getting two. Maybe I'll just leave one of these ones like at my in-laws house in case I ever want to go swimming and I'm at their house. That's probably what I'll do. But yeah, you guys, I think that is everything that I ended up picking up from Shein for this summer haul. I hope you guys ended up enjoying it. I honestly loved almost every single item that I got except for the shorts and the leggings but everything else is bomb i love i'm so excited so i hope you guys enjoyed the shein haul i love you guys so so much and i'll see you very very soon in my next video bye bye